Wouldn't it be nice to just make quick money on something? Pull the core out, put in another one, you're done. I'm saying that's the way to fly. So let's get into this video. Can you imagine a kit of all the cylinders and all the core keys that you're going to ever run across in your life? Welcome back everyone. This is Mike with Dornlock Tips. And we're going to be talking about removable core locks on like casework, like office equipment, things in the office. When you go to your office, you usually have a little key. Now, unbeknownst to you, but you locksmiths, you know about this. There is a core key that will remove that core out of your office furniture. And you can rekey that piece of furniture so quick, you, I mean, it'll make your head spin. So that's what we're going to talk about today. But we're going to talk about the locksmith dilemma in this. There are many brands. I mean, uh, you have Timberline, Steel Case, uh, Herman Miller. You have so many brands. Probably at least eight brands that I can think of. At least eight. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten brands. Just right on this piece of paper. How do you know which key to buy? What cylinder to buy to replace it if you're going to rekey it immediately? And when you get that phone call out of the blue, hey, can you rekey our office equipment? You're like, uh, you have to do a survey. So I'm going to take some of the guesswork out of it. I made a kit. So I went down to a friendly store of Walmart and bought a tackle box. So we all have tackle boxes, but can you imagine a kit of all the cylinders and all the core keys that you're going to ever run across in your life, probably, that will open up all of these locks and remove the cores. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? So as a locksmith, you need to know this. So let's get right into this. I'm going to show you what I put together, where you can get this stuff because that's the battle. You know, you could search high and low. A lot of, a lot of this stuff is OEM. You know, you can't buy it. They, uh, it's like proprietary. They don't want to sell it to you, so you got to buy it from that company or this company. I found, I found a one-stop shopping place. Oh, you're going to love this. But it's not as easy as you think. So I'm going to put down in the description where to get this stuff. Don't worry, the beauty of it all, why you need to put together a little kit in a tackle box, you have to have this kit, because you don't want to go in blind. It takes a good 10 days to get this stuff. Let's get into this video. So let's get a close look now. I bought all this from Easy Keys. So all the control keys, look at the variety of companies that you can get from Easy Keys. You know, Compex is huge, right? But some of these, Hayworth and all these other companies, you know, you, you wonder where to go? Go here. They're cheap. I think I paid five bucks a key. I, I know for a locksmith that's a little pricey, but if you get these from your supplier, you're going to pay more in shipping. Go here. That's where I went. So what I did is I put together a little tackle box which is so cool, right? Of all the goodies that you're gonna probably ever find in your area. There's really basically like 12 companies out there that you're gonna need to, to uh, rekey or pull the course. Now I thought it was gonna be simple, right? I ordered all the, the brands that I, I felt were relevant. I, I deal a little bit with this company, MicroIQ, and they have a CT lock, and they, they recommended certain cores that they replace for electronic locks, right? So I, I, I started with this. So this was my trail. And I just talked to Easy Keys, and I said, hey, little girl down there, I think her name's Joan, she's real sweet. Called her up, and I said, hey, can you get me all the, uh, all the locks on this, this little list from MicroIQ? And she said, yeah. Yeah, I can get you the locks, I can get you the core keys, and I can get you the, uh, the cylinders, removable cylinders. 
I said, great. She said, well, I'm not quite sure, uh, you know, of the lock. So you might have to buy an assortment. I said, that's okay. No big deal, right? So, you know, some are, some are for, uh, you know, the lockers that I want. And some aren't. This one's for a, uh, a file cabinet, which is cool and dandy. I mean, I don't know what lock. I want to show you. I'm going to install it, right? But I don't know. Uh, you know, all their brands and all the different fashion. I do know that I need a corky to pull out the, uh, the little cylinder, right? And I have that now. So I'm set. So when I walk in, I'm not in the blind. I don't want to go in there and say, oh yeah, I don't know anything about anything, right? So I didn't get that many, but I got what I needed to do the job. I don't have any pinning kits. For these, uh, for these little uh, wafer locks because honestly, there's no money in it. We've already went through that in last videos. If you try to repin these in the field, you're just wasting your time, energy, and effort, and you'll charge the folks way too much. Just order the cylinder. You know, you order, you order these already keyed up, like this one. This was uh, a Hayworth, right? A Hayworth cylinder. Get that already pinned up. There's a number on it. This one's a, whatever, 012. Get it pinned up for the key. Come back. You know, but at least if you have some control keys, which, you know, you got to have. I, I wrote control. I spent an entire Sunday, by the way, a Sunday going through. It's hard to believe. But I went through all her locks she sent me, which are kind of vast, you know. This is very interesting, honestly, you guys. You need to know this if you're a locksmith. So I went through the locks she sent me, and she sent me them in sealed bags, and none of them had names on them. Oh. So I spent an entire Sunday, and I went through, and I separated them. I got the control keys for the right plugs, little cylinders, and I marked them. And I really, I really fussed, okay, of this entire little project. And, and you just need this little tackle box to put them in. You know, you can get any tackle box down at Walmart, but I kind of thought this was a good one. You know, it's cheap, and there was extra little tackle, and I'm going to give it to some kids, uh, you know, that we know, because I really don't do fishing. But. So this is the kit. If you don't have a kit, you're up a crick. And by the way, you can even sell these kits. Uh, back in the day, I used to sell the Timberline kits. I'd put together a whole kit like this and sell it for $1,000 to the maintenance department because they didn't have a clue, just like most locksmiths don't. What core key goes with what lock and what cylinder goes in what lock. So. You just put it together for them, you know, especially in Timberline. Timberline's so easy. That's the 90% of all lockers, casework, office furniture, hospital furniture. That is really the go-to lock. This other stuff, steel case, is up Michigan. And some of these are OEM things, but uh, Han is big. So I've got all this. Let's take a, a, even a closer look. And also, I'm going to put all these locks, even if they don't latch, I'm going to put them on a locker, and I'm going to show you how they remove and what you would run into normally if, if you had a latching system. I can actually make this latch on a locker, but it's really for a file cabinet. But, you know, she didn't even know. When you order this stuff, if you're going to order the lock, they don't really know their product that well. But, uh, you know, that's why as a locksmith, you buy this stuff in advance, you look through it, and then you make the determination because they are not locksmiths. All they are are suppliers. They don't know exactly what you want, and that's where your know-how, and hopefully this door and lock tips helps, helps figure this all out because you know, do you want to spend $500? I was just under 500 bucks on a little teeny handful of stuff that's worthless to you. Is that what you want to do? Or do you want to have something 
that when you go in, you feel comfortable with it and you say, hey, I spent my money wisely and I can get a return on it. And you have to be familiar with this stuff. It's like keying, right? You buy into a key system. You don't know what you're doing right off the bat. But after a couple of weeks of playing, you know, in the, not in the field, but just in your office, you find out, hey, I think I've understand it. Then you can go out and work. So that's what this type of thing is about. Only locksmiths understand this. You know, the, the common lay person, they would think you're wasting your money if you bought a kit like this. Because, you know, a lot of this stuff doesn't associate with, with their products. Maybe like this uh, micro IQ thing. You know, this lock may not go in every one of these, uh, you know, because it replaces the core with electronics. But, you know, <laughs> maybe the thing doesn't fit in all these. And so, you know, they don't understand that. But you as a locksmith, you got to know yourself in your heart that you're not wasting your money and your time by going out there doing a survey on a lock. Let's say they want an electronic lock and, and it doesn't work. But how would you know unless you went over this? So let's look up just a little bit closer. It's a brand called Kimball, right? We all know this brand. Now, according to the electronic lock company, they make some spindles that go in the Kimball removable core. Which is cool. But do you know that Kimball makes several flavors of this stuff? So in order for you to really get your head around this, you need to know if it's the type that would work with the electronic lock you're trying to replace this stuff with. If you're trying to replace electronic lock. I kind of like to buy a lock or use a lock that I retrofit it later. I think it's a good idea. But so you got to get familiar with this. It's out of pocket money, well worth the expense if you're going to get into uh, high end big places like hospitals and, and gyms and places you know what you're talking about. So that's what we're looking for. So this is a Kimball lock. Now I know what it, it uh, entails. And there's basically two different flavors to their cylinders. One's a long, one's a short. So if you didn't buy this, you'd never know. So there we go. So Kimball, we got that covered. Easy Keys, wonderful place. Highly suggest you go here and buy the kit. I'll put, I'll put the link down in the description for this kit. So there we have it guys, nice little kit. I'll show you how these locks go on a locker and how the cores come out and make it so simple for you. Hopefully this has been helpful. It has been to me, I mean, I've enjoyed the education. Some of these locks I haven't run across and I'm so glad to find a place called Easy Keys. Can you imagine this? Easy Keys, even the name fits. And they've got a lot of products down there, way more than what I just showed you. I mean, the, it's vast. They were friendly, helpful, open an account, get, and they have sales. So fill out their little sales flyer and you'll get information coming to you. You'll be so happy. These places want to help us as locksmiths and or lock enthusiasts. If, if you're gonna, if you're retired and you wanna just go down and work on, on uh, facilities, I mean, you gotta know this stuff. And it's, it's, it's easy as easy keys. Can you imagine that? I'm so thankful they exist. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. I'll have more door and lock tips like this coming your way, especially with little kits that you need in your arsenal on your truck so that you don't look silly when you walk in. We don't want to look silly. We want to look professional, don't we? <laughs> Hopefully we do. Anyway, thank you. Please subscribe. Ring that bell. Tell your friends. And I'll have more door and lock tips coming your way. Thanks.
Stay tuned for some fun bloopers. Here they come. Welcome back everyone. This is Mike with Dornlock Tips. And today we're gonna to be talking about removable core locks. You know, in all these places you go to as a locksmith, or even if you're just an individual, you're in an office environment, say an office uh, for a hospital or uh, in a, in a uh, <coughs> and I'll have more door and lock tips coming your way. Thanks.